Good morning. <laughs> what a beautiful day. How did everyone sleep? I had the strangest dream about a, what are those called? They cut grass? <laughs> a lawnmower. Yes, I dreamed that a lawnmower was mowing a lawn. <laughs> How did I get onto that? <laughs> Where was I? I must admit to you now that I have no plan. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Perhaps you are the teacher and I am the student. You see, you think you have come here to listen to me, but really, you have only come here to meet yourself, your true self, your brilliance, your juiciness, your spiciness, your grudges, your resentment, your enlightenment, it's all right here, already. All you have to do is listen. <clears throat> that is the point of this silence. In case you were wondering. <laughs> I have to apologize. I seem to be battling a bit of a, a cold. In you, there is everything you need to be fully human. Are these just words? <laughs> yes. Just stories, fantasies of your own mind. What is the story you have invented? about what is around you or in you. Right now, you will hear people tell their story. My divorce made me stronger, or it was only when I lost everything that I found myself, or I did not know who I was until I got cancer. <laughs> Feelings come and go. They go, they pass, as all things always do. So, as I was saying, we shall set our intention for the week. This is a mantra, your private wish, a hope for yourself. It may be a desire. May all beings be free of fear and suffering. <laughs> It may be a reminder, embrace what is, or it may simply be a color, green. <laughs> and so, if you would each take the blank piece of paper from your packet, hopefully you have brought something to write with. Remember, a pencil and paper. Now everyone has these. What are they called? Computers. Do you know computers? The buzzing and the beeping. It's so strange. I recently obtained email. It is very convenient. Now, go ahead. Write your intention. When you are finished, repeat it silently to yourself. Repeat it in silence. Don't move your mouth. In your mind, that's it. You should all be finished by now. Please stop writing. Now close your eyes and return to the stillness of who you are. Breathing in. Breathing out. <sighs> Breathing in. 
breathing out. <laughs> Hello, um, thank you for taking my uh, question. <laughs> I uh, would first like to uh, thank my fellow retreaters. Um, I know it's only been a few days, but my mind is just so, so, uh, my question is kind of, Big. Well, you know, there's the planet Earth, and then there's. Okay, you know what? Um, let me back up for a second here. I promise not to give you my whole life story, but I've always been an outdoor enthusiast. And then, quick sidebar: four and a half years ago, I fell during a rock climbing accident, fractured my skull in eight different places, and uh, it looked. It, without the hat, you can, you can tell. Um, I survived, obviously, 
um, except for a few minor deficits. Like, I can never remember what day of the week it is. I'm pretty sure that's common, right? And also how I take my coffee, but that's not a big deal. Anyways, as I was saying, I was in and out of the hospital for about two years, during which time I lost my job at a major marketing firm and my wife started sleeping with my little brother, because I wasn't aware of that at the time. But then, the week I got out of the hospital, I was victim to an armed robbery where they took, you know, my wallet, credit card, social insurance card, which ultimately led to my identity being stolen. Of course, I wasn't aware of that at the time either, but after my house burned down, I realized that I had bad credit due to the identity theft. So yeah, I got a divorce, both my parents died six months apart, I started drinking, had two suicidal thoughts that were pretty much constant. Then, another miracle, I got in the program, got sober, stopped wanting to kill myself. Then, ironically enough, my sponsor killed himself while straight into traffic. Oh my gosh. Same thing happened to my dog, actually, hit by a car. I don't mean to equate the two, I just think it's weird, you know? Like, okay. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I got a new job. Well, it's volunteer, for now. Um, it's at this place called Earthwatch. It's an environmental, and it's just that, you know? At Earthwatch, it's just becoming very clear with what's happening. It's not good. I mean, I know we all know about the ice caps melting and hello, water levels. <laughs> so much, so much suffering is in store. It, it just is. And I think, I mean, it probably is too late to do anything about it. And uh, so, yeah, um, my intention is to breathe and find peace with all of this, but to be at peace in a world that's at war just kinda seems wrong. Sorry, uh, this is probably just my ego talking but if I could just, you know, stay present and wake up to enlightenment, then maybe I could understand that, that none of this matters. I, I think I'm wondering with Everything. Sorry. Um, what? What was my question again? Shit. 